My dear brothers and sisters, if one does a careful study of our scriptures, one will realize that all through the Bible, God calls very ordinary people for something extraordinary. The invitation is not thrown to the wise and the learned because then they will start to decipher things, they will start to break things up, they will start to reason things, they will question things, they'll probe a little more. But to all whom God has called in the Bible, they were simple, ordinary things who just submitted themselves to the will of God. In our first reading, we have the call of Moses. Being appointed by God to do something really extraordinary. To lead the Israelites out of Egypt from slavery into freedom. And yet we know how Moses was initially so hesitant. But God gives him assurance, I will be with you. The same assurance given to the apostles. The same assurance given to each one of us who is called by the Lord for a certain task, for a certain responsibility. I just believe that he calls the ordinary and he makes them extraordinary. He calls the unqualified and he qualifies them. This is the way our God works. The invitation is given to those who are little children. Because here are the ones who are simple, honest and so accepting and gracious that they find it easier perhaps to communicate and to give the message of God to others. Has that invitation come to you and to me? If yes, what have we done with that invitation? If it has and we have said no, why have we rejected God's invitation? I pray that each one of us constantly discern what our calling is and what is the invitation that comes to us from the Lord. What really is our vocation? God bless and do have a Jesus-filled day.